Hi friends, I recently reviewed this Rainpoint hydroponic system and mentioned that I have started experimenting with it. Just to recap quickly, it features 24 voltage lights, support for 13 pods, although I will refer to it as 12 pods, a 5 liter bowl capacity and 20 inches of height adjustment. Besides these specs, this system is designed very well. Now I have had the opportunity to test its performance and I have the results from the first experiment ready. Let's go through the grow cycle and see how the system performed. In this first experiment, I am growing French breakfast radishes. If the system is capable enough, the radishes will be ready in just 25 days. Let's see if this system can produce the expected results. I am placing two seeds in each pod and starting with 12 pods. Depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings and eventually keep only one plant per pod. It's very important to add stickers on the pods to block the light and any debris that may fall onto the sponges but I don't add stickers on any of my radish experiments. This is intentional for the radish experiments because the plants grow quickly and radishes will start forming rapidly. Therefore, I don't see a strong reason for the necessity for the stickers in radish experiments. Alright, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I won't add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. This garden is all set and good to go. It's been 3 days. The germination is excellent. Looks like almost all the seeds germinated. This is pretty normal with radish. They always have very good germination rate. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding the nutrition. I will use the AB nutrition that came with the system throughout this grow cycle. According to the recommendation, we need to use 5 ml for every 1 liter of water. That's what I am going to do. It's been 7 days. All seedlings are coming excellent. Look at this beautiful stem. This is where the radish is going to come. That's really amazing progress. It is always fun to see these radishes growing right in front of our eyes. It's been 10 days. All seedlings are coming excellent. Just as a sample, look at this seedling. It already started developing radish and I see similar pattern on most of the seedlings. This is really nice. Some of them are falling off but they are going to come back and stand straight once they started forming the radish. So, so far so good. Good growth so far. It's been 13 days, all plants are doing excellent and I see the radish formation on some seedlings or some plants, that's really nice. Here is one and here is one in the back, here is another one, wow actually a lot of uh, baby radishes, that's really nice. There are only few that are left without radishes, especially this one, but everything else is doing good. It's been 15 days. Look at this garden. These cute little radishes are looking so beautiful. Let's take a closer look. That's a perfect radish formation. Very nice. I see so many radishes here. That's really wonderful. I still don't see radish formation on a couple of plants. But I think that's okay. Most of the radishes are doing really good. It's day 19. The radishes are growing very well. Look at all these beautiful radishes. They are swelling up very well and getting nice and fat. One important thing I would like to mention at this point is, as the radishes are getting fat, they get stuck in the cage. So it is very important to gently pull them up as they grow. Look at this. I just pulled it up a little bit. It was like this. It got stuck in the cage. But after pulling, it is looking like this. So it is very important to keep pulling the radish a little bit up as it grows. We just want to make sure it doesn't get stuck in the cage. 
if it gets stuck in the cage we can't even take the cage out so we have to literally cut the cage to take it out it's day 25 many radishes have reached to their maximum size or at least a very decent size look at this radish it has grown very well and it is perfectly ready to harvest and many radishes are like this here is one and here is another one and there's one in the back this is another one of course these radishes are at different sizes but uh, many of them are fully developed and ready to harvest so i'm going to start harvesting these fully matured radishes while these radishes are keep developing in this garden only one radish which is at baby stage i don't have any hopes on this but who knows maybe this one also develops once i start harvesting the other radishes it's day 30 i already started harvesting radishes i harvested one radish from here and today i harvested all the greens that i can use in my curries now i'm going to harvest these radishes one by one beginning with the bigger ones look at this this is really big and here is the problem i mentioned earlier these radishes have grown so big inside the cage and it got stuck here this is the reason we have to keep pulling the radishes looks like i didn't do great job so at least 20 percent of the radish have grown inside the cage and uh, see how that cage is swelling up i can't really take out this radish even if i pull hard it's not going to come so i'm going to cut it right above this cage and uh, remove the radish scrape out the radish so that i can save the cage and here is another radish this one also got stuck a little bit look at this it got stuck inside this one also got stuck so this is the reason it is very important to keep pulling out the radishes as they grow all of them are good so this one is really good this one is good this one is small of course but they are all good this one is also good but two of them got stuck very badly into the cage and under the deck anyway this is really excellent progress the radishes have grown to a really really nice size very good progress this system really performed very well there is nothing much to show from this point it is just matter of harvesting all these radishes and set the system up for another experiment this system really worked out very well and produced nice radishes. This gives me enough confidence that I can grow any herbs, lettuce, leafy green vegetables in this garden. But I am not going to grow any of them right away. I am going to challenge this system with bigger crops like tomatoes or peppers. So for the next experiment, I am going to grow tomatoes and see how they are going to perform. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.